What is going on you amazing human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 6 and 7 season 2. If you like Jujutsu Kaisen, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with it. Obviously, notification bell goes along with that. Let's just jump straight into the episode. Let's go. And there they are. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Itadori Yuji Megumi. I forgot her name. I won't be honest. It's been a long time. And since the season didn't even start with them. Oh my gosh. I, I did not know that they were going to do this. Human Earthworm 4. Dr. Richter. It's like in Castlevania. <laughs> oh my word, this story is so trippy. What the hell? Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> what is going on here? That's hilarious. But other than that, it's very interesting to see which way they go now. You know, because we had all those things with Gojo and stuff. We found out, you know, everything kind of about his limitless technique. But now we've jumped ahead. So what does that mean? Like, I'm going to, it's going to be interesting to see the bad guys that they're actually up against. Special grade is a rank reserved for those sorcerers who are exceptional. True rank. Wow. They must stand above all, or above comparison. <laughs> Toto is hilarious. Wait, what? They're actually recommending them. What is going on? Semi first grade. So are they trying to get rid of them in this in a way? Wait, she's the one from Gojo's class, isn't she? Oh, so that's why he's giving him the recommendation because he wants him to join him on missions. <laughs> Man, who would have thought that animation in a table tennis game would be that good? Who's this now? There's always some weirdo in Jujutsu Kaisen who's like got good potential like capability and stuff but they're always like a weirdo. But let's see what happens. Oh, she was in... wait what? She was in his class or something. Maybe like yeah, it's his crush. Wait what? This has the recipe to become disastrous. You know, you know where someone's just like obsessed and then like using this terms, right? You build up that cursed energy and that's what sends it out. This is what creates monsters. This is what Ghetto was talking about. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what's this about now? <laughs> tall girls. Oh my god, and she's tall. But isn't he at the movie? That is one crazy glow up, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, he actually recognized her. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I promise you, this has the recipe for a disaster. Cursed energy. Like I said before. Oh my goodness. But how? I wonder. Because like her hair color changed, her eyes changed. Life is tough. <laughs> I'll be honest, you know, these are the realities of things that your feelings tend to get hurt most of the time. But I feel like everybody has their moment at some point, but up until then, my goodness. And she got so tall as well. So did she, is, has she been like chasing him the whole time? What's with the outfit? She looks like she's, it's like a 60 year old's outfit. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
it's cool how they because i mean it was so intense right the first episodes were so intense so i'm glad that they are um, you know it's like it's a little bit more light-hearted they reminding you about the dynamics between itadori and everyone and it's almost like it's restarting in a in a sense like that flashback was more just like a prequel into this is now the season starting you know Utahima, oh my goodness. That's the thing. It was also to introduce the old team, right? Mei, Utahima. The other one was Shoku. I don't know where she is. Shoko. I wonder what happened to her face as well. So these, this now is like the missions they were talking about. Puppet manipulation. Heavenly Pact, here we go again with that. I wonder when we're actually gonna learn about what that is, or what that means, or how it's used, and how you get it. But I wonder his body is probably... I think I'm, I remember him. Yes. They've arrived. Oh, that's why he went to sleep. I do remember him now. Very vaguely from season one. And they actually showed his body like this. So he's a mole for who? I thought you forgot about me. Ghetto! He always smells moldy. Mahito, I remember now. Oh wow, they're gonna fix his body. Killing him comes after fixing him. Wow, what an insult. Ghetto is so different. I wonder how his body is going to be. Oh, he, he had those pipes in him. Damn. You must feel crazy to actually feel your body again. So now what? Because this was the pact, right? We have to give you a body. But now it's like, okay, the pact is done. So now I can kill you. Is that what they're trying to say? But they probably underestimating him. Holy smokes. He's gone. Oh. Wait, how did he get there? Wait, what? Is that a puppet? Oh my gosh, dude just made like an iron giant. Ultimate Mechamaru. Wow, armored puppet. What? That seems so strong. I'm like, I'm literally so confused. I'm like, he was the mole, right? But so why was Itadori then looking for him if he's against these guys? Like, I completely missed something. Ultra Cannon, wow. Whoa. I swear this is one of those shows that the episode just flies past. I mean, I'm busy thinking what's going on with the rest of the episode. Really awesome already. A lot of different aspects. I'm just going to jump straight into the next episode. But already you can see a lot of different aspects. A lot of new storyline to check out. I missed a bit of it as well, which is fine. Let's just jump into it. So, I mean, he did try hit him with that big laser, right? But he obviously, he dodged it. I mean, aren't they gonna destroy the whole dam? Oh, they're showing right before he actually showed himself in that. I think they called it the Absolute Armor Mecha Maru. Which is still confusing because you were saying, they were saying that he is a mole, someone's a mole. And then, you know, my victory condition is Gojo, right? He'll get Gojo to protect him and tell him about the plot. So, whose side is he on? Why was Itadori them looking for him? Why did they say that he's the only only one left like the process of elimination so is he like a, a double agent type of thing i guess we'll obviously find out but that's the part that i was confused about oh did he hit him but isn't my hitter isn't he able to just completely like keep recreating his body like like a puppet Man, he looks freaky. Evening festival. He's, yeah, he's like um, a straw man, you know? I don't know if it was this anime. It might have been in One Piece. But like, 
he, the guy can move his soul around. So even if you chop off like his head, it depends where his soul is kept in his body at that time. He can move it around. But I don't think it's him. But incredible animation already. Miracle Cannon. Wow. So what did he say? It's 17 years of cursed energy, essentially. My Hito is a maniac, I swear. Oh my goodness, look at those wings. Wow. Bro. He's insane, actually. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like something that draws cursed energy out. Oh. Whoa. What? Madness. He just front kicked him like 20 kilometers. My soul was destroyed too. So he obviously had some that bomb or whatever. Obviously did something like that. What? Can he just take any form? He's probably badly hurt. What is he connected to? You know, he's got like that long thing behind him. Special grade claws. Interesting. Oh, Keto wants to take it. He wants to absorb him. Ah, but that's the thing, you know. Pigeon Viola. I think as Mojito is gonna lose, Keto's gonna absorb Mecha Maru. Bro, the way he can transform. <laughs> Was that a rabbit? And a mouse. Wow. Whoa, this is so good. I never knew he was able to do this before, though. I might be forgetting season one, but I don't recall him being able to move and do this unless he never showed it. Could be wrong, though. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. The left hook. Here it comes. Oh. I think this is when Ghetto is going to get him. I'll be able to see everyone. Wait, what? Domain expansion. Self-embodiment of perfection. Wow. Oh. Bro, Mahita is insane. He's got like 20 mudras. What just happened? This guy is insane. <laughs> Oh, once you're inside the domain, he can do whatever. 10 days until Halloween, which is crazy because today is Halloween. Two left in. So he had 17 years, and every time he used the technique, it kept bringing it down because now it's on 9 years. So he does have something left. Let's see. Don't incorporate hopes and dreams into your strategy. Wow. Protect him from others' domains. Oh! <laughs> Simple domain. New shadow style. What is this? Wait, what? Oh! Bro! Did you see all those curses? Wow! Simple domain. Wow. So this is why Geto's gonna get him. Oh my goodness. Geto's gonna absorb him now so he can take that technique. And that's how he's gonna be able to fight Gojo. Nine years of cursed energy left. I can fight. I read Gojo for a second. But it's a mistake. Keto is on a different level. Oh. What? Mahito is still there. Oh my word. Mahito's an abomination. 
Wow. He's actually crazy. God, what a fight. Wow. It's like he just keeps morphing into anything you can think of. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Like how much action and fighting was that? And he's doing it so you can see her. I think he got killed though. Oh, so he did it on purpose. <sighs> so much to take in, but absolutely incredible now there's just this calm bro it's literally that day right now it's 31st of october right now at the party there i am how strange is it that on halloween it's a halloween episode this is the veil right oh she can probably see it Oh man. I swear Ghetto is just constantly attacking. Oh. Yeah, I swear Ghetto is just constantly attacking. Like, at this point, shouldn't you just kill him? Like, I swear Gojo had a chance in the movie. Wow. But I don't know if this is Ghetto, but I'm just saying. It traps only regular people. Because remember, that's Ghetto's whole thing, right? To wipe out all normal people. Bring Satoru Gojo. Man, so everyone's there. So everybody's just on standby until Gojo comes, which is kind of interesting. But, and that's the other thing, like, is where is Gojo? Like, what if he can't get there? What are you gonna do then? I mean, but this has to be Ghetto, though, right? Whoa. All right, Megumi, I'm guessing. Oh, there he is. There he is. Man, this is what I was trying to say. <laughs> he just arrives at the end of the episode, but really good. I mean, blown out of the water as normal with Jujutsu Kaisen. They just do such a good job of being able to just keep the suspense going, keep the action going. You don't really have many slow moments. I mean, you can even tell with like the anime that I'm watching, a lot of it has slowed down a lot and a lot of it is just slow, but never Never with the show at all it's just constant we saw i mean now we're back in the present day right with ug and everyone and it's also interesting that now that you have sort of that back context on everyone seeing them again and seeing them with the, all their battle scars and things is very interesting yes yeah, so it's just it's awesome to see what is gonna happen now right and obviously once again we see ghetto is behind something mojito is absolutely insane i, I didn't think he was that strong i mean I mean, I would have to go back and watch it again the first season to remember what he was capable of doing but I honestly don't remember seeing him being that strong and now we see this weird veil over the city that only traps regular people and sorcerers can kind of come and go as they want which is what Geta was talking about all the time you know he's always trying to talk about removing the monkeys because they're the ones who cause the cursed energy but very interesting not much else very intense action crazy very amped to keep watching but that's gonna be it for me today thanks for watching if you're watching if you like jujitsu guys and hit the like button subscribe for more because you want to keep up to date with this notification obviously with that that's gonna be it for me i'm out peace in a bit